previously on King Solomon's Mine. Boys, get out the back. I'll keep you covered. Look, Sonny. Get it going. Get it going. Sippy, maybe this might be a good time for you to pray to your God. You seem to have a direct eye. Oh, please, Sidney, don't be all day. It should be a very easy prayer. Just get us out of here. God answered our prayer. It's a cow! And so continues the greatest adventure of all time in search of King Solomon's mind. Saeed, and Ian, God has answered our prayer. Oh, I could use I, a nice snuggly oh. warm bed. Oh, oh, I wish we never ride a cow again. Why can't we take a bus? Why do we always have to take something silly that you want to take? Ow! Mark City. Are you okay, my friend? I'm just fine, my friend. No worries here. Oh, well, then I'll do the worry for you. We get hit over the head. We get tied up by very, very bad men. Very bad men indeed. I think it's time for you to do some of those prayers again. Maybe I'll help. Oh, my trouble, friend. I think I will. <laughs> Help us here. God has saved us again. God has saved nobody. Where I come from, the police are very, very, very bad men. They take you away and they hurt you. No, no, Saeed. God's word says in Romans 13 that authorities exist, that exist have been established by God. Rulers hold no terror for those who do right, but for those who do wrong. Do you want to be free? from the fear of the one in authority, then do what is right, and he will commend you, for he is God's servant to do you good. You see, Saeed, the police are God's servants, acting on his authority. All right, then. We're coming in. Unless they're corrupt, then they would just shoot us. Oh, no. Will our friends be rescued or rot in a Lebanese jail? Have we seen the last of those nasty ninjas? Does Sydney have brain damage? Find out next week on King Solomon's Mind.